opposition leaders of 18 uh, parties there attempting to march to the ED office but a huge uh, security bandobast has also been made barricades have been put up and they're not being allowed to march further Malik Arjun Kharge there uh, Congress uh, president saying that he that they are marching peacefully and uh, questioning why they are being stopped from moving further on now 18 opposition uh, parties they're taking on the government and trying to highlight this issue of uh, central agencies is being used against them. Uh, opposition parties have also uh, been pressing for an investigation into the Adani Hindenburg issue and uh, therefore this march was announced after a meeting had taken place earlier of the opposition uh, parties earlier this morning before uh, the parliament had convened. Lok Sabha is currently adjourned uh, till 2 o'clock after there was a ruckus there and uh, opposition uh, parties there put, uh, trying to highlight the issue of central agencies being used against them to silence them and also demanding a joint parliamentary committee on uh, the Adani Hindenburg issue uh, but uh, major police deployment as this march had been announced earlier on uh, the march began at around 12.30 and this had been announced by opposition parties uh, Delhi uh, police uh, put up barricades and deployed uh, mobile vans as well to uh, block the march as you can see the barricades in place there and security personnel as well uh, U.S. short seller Hindenburg Research had alleged that the Adani group was engaged in stock manipulation and this is what uh, the opposition has been demanding uh, 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 JPC into. Let's just listen into what's being said. <laughs> It has set up a six-member committee of experts to examine uh, the issues arising out of the stock crash that uh, took place after the Hindenburg report. This committee has been tasked with an overall assessment suggesting measures to make investors more aware and to strengthen regulatory measures for the stock markets. But the opposition has said that this is not enough, uh, that, this is, uh, that this committee is looking into uh, issues regarding the stock market, but that they want a joint parliamentary committee to look into all aspects uh, that were raised in the Hindenburg report. The Adani group, remember, welcomed uh, the Supreme Court order uh, saying that it will bring, uh, truth will prevail and it will uh, bring a finality in a time-bound manner. But the opposition has been pressing for a joint parliamentary committee on the Hindenburg report. They've also been uh, targeting and hitting out at the government over of uh, the central agencies like the CBI and Enforcement Directorate being used against various opposition leaders uh, claiming that central agencies are being used to target them, to silence them and to weaken them. So 18 opposition parties, they're coming together to take on the government over these various issues, including uh, the Hindenburg Adani issue as well as the uh, opposition party leaders being targeted uh, by ED and CBI. But well, let's go across to Vedant for more. And Vedant, so 18 opposition party leaders, they're coming together on this march to the ED office. But for the moment, uh, they, they, they've been blocked and uh, the police also out there in big numbers. That's right, Gargi. Since the morning, heavy uh, police presence, not only at the Vijay Chowk area, but also at the Enforcement Directorate office. And as you rightly pointed out, they're not being allowed to march uh, towards that Vijay Chowk area. In fact, uh, what is also significant to point out is that 18 opposition parties have come together, but TMC is not uh, there in the opposition march. In fact, uh, the NCP has also uh, refrained from joining uh, these opposition parties. And as you can see in those visuals also, uh, Gargi, सांसद ये आदेश है कि हमें रोका जाए दीपेंद्र जी यहां पर धारा 144 लागू की गई है आप लोग वाचिंग इट इज सेक्शन 144 इन प्लेस ओवर हियर सो दैट्स द आर्गुमेंट व्हिच इज बीइंग गिवन बाय द पार्लियामेंट एंड द गवर्नमेंट ऑल दैट यू कैन नॉट डू इट ओवर हियर सी द व्हाट इज दैट एनी सेक्शन व्हाट इज दैट सेक्शन बीइंग इंपोज्ड फॉर स्टॉप आवर टू स्टॉप अस 
from reaching. Otherwise, it's entirely peaceful. All are responsible members of parliament. There is not even one uh, prote protester here who is not a mem sitting member of parliament. So everybody is well known to the, uh, you know, the government and the So there is no question of law and order issue here. But what so, about so the The TMC is not joining in. So do you think that can be a dampener on opposition unity? See, see, there may be, uh, you know, this BJP strategy to look at who joins on a certain day or who not. But otherwise, entire opposition is united in its demand. That has to be seen. And this demand is coming from the people. This demand is coming from the lakhs of investors who are face, facing the losses. Uh, whether it is in LIC, whether it is SBI, whether it is the retail investor. So if they don't let you go and march, what are you going to do now? What can we do? We can just raise our voice. We will start, We will continue to raise our voice within uh, the parliament and on the streets. TMC but NCP was also not present at this uh, uh, protest. Do you think that that's uh, opposition call I, the I, unity that you have been? I am not. About? I am not uh, aware of the what you are saying. NCP. NCP was there with us in the all party meeting. But uh, I, the question is about the demand. It's a demand which is echoed by all the political parties and uh, which is demand by the common man of India, which is a demand which is met by all the investors of India who have been fa facing losses, huge losses, SBI, LIC, retail investors, stock investors, they are facing huge losses, they are asking questions why and have certain government uh, governments have been uh, giving, giving prefer preferential treatment to certain uh, uh, big uh, uh, corporate houses which is leading to chronic capitalism in this country. This is the question which is on minds of people and we just want a just and fair investigation to look at all these allegations. That's what the demand of the opposition is. And, and the government and the government on its part should be magnanimous enough, should be broad minded enough. We are uh, particular demands, the other uh, ED uh, should be uh, accepting those demands.